G'day Wallaby Dick. It's a beautiful day at Four Springs Lake in Tasmania. Trout season is in full swing and every bloke is bursting at the seams to get out on the water, catch a four pounder and take a photo with it to update their Tinder profile picture. Why is it a thing? Who knows? Why do we spend hours on the water chasing fish we're probably gonna release? Primitive testosterone, I guess. <laughs> Stay tuned, we have a fun-filled episode of Tazcast coming up. G'day Wallaby Dick and welcome back to another episode of Tazcast Fishing Adventures. Today we are here at Four Springs Lake. It's located about 40 minutes from Launceston. A beautiful man-made dam that was officially opened in 1999. As you can see today, there's a little bit of wind around. I brought my fly rod with me and also my little trout rod with eight pound leader and four or five kilo braid and managed to hook up on that combo. What seems to do it early on in the season is a hard body lure or something a little bit darker so the fish can actually see it in between a lot of the murk because there's a lot of different streams running into dams like this this time of year. So having something darker to stand out I feel is really great for early season trout. We're only about five days into the season. It opened last Saturday. So I'm absolutely stoked to have landed what I've caught today. So without further ado, before I get into the video, I have a question for you. Are you a freshwater or a saltwater fisherman? Well, leave your comment down below. I'm intrigued to know how many of you are freshwater or saltwater fishermen, or if you're an all-rounder, let me know as well. I'm going to pick one of the people that have commented down below and send them a Zeric hard body lure that I caught my trout on today. Beautiful, beautiful morning. A little bit of breeze around, but had a bit of time off work up until I played gig tonight, so I thought I'd come out, have a look around. Water looks a bit murky. Start on some uh, hard body stuff. We'll move up and then we'll see how we go with the fly later on. Just want to run straight through this ridge line. Trying to tie something to come out. There's a lot of wood right here. Water's pretty murky. Yeah. Nuts. Had him on there too. It was a nice size. You still waist high up all the way up until that second spit. Yep. Looking down this way. And then you're pretty good. But you've got a few weedy patches there too, so you probably want a quicker the retrieve than normal. Yep. Awesome. Go for a look. Yeah, no, I've seen a couple of blokes there the other day out there, and I was like, how the fuck do they get out there? Uh, so you just walk through there. Absolutely. That's it. Keep it between ourselves. <laughs> Is it boggy? Oh, everywhere's boggy around here. You'll be right. Oh. Best of luck.
a nice size trout. A nice size. Stomp that. Absolutely nailed it. He is huge. Nice brown. Stay in. Stay in. Stay in. Don't spit that hook. <laughs> nice size, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, you'll be coming on with me, I think. Just took that on the, uh, on the hard body. Yeah, little baby rainbow. Yeah, that's a nice brownie. Beautiful brown trout, so this is casting adjacent to a lot of the weed banks. Trying to get something to happen alongside the wind because it was just blowing straight against us. Excuse that blood, but uh, absolutely beautiful. Four springs, second trout of the season. So just quickly on the gear, um, this was a little hard body. Quite often it's just a slow retrieve, just a trick. You can pick these up from All Goods in Launceston or any good tackle store. Um, other hard bodies that I use are quite similar. I've done relatively well with this little redfin perch. Also another Zeric, I believe. Got some more balls in the middle of this. Rattles a little bit more. But, um, I keep it pretty basic when it comes to trout fishing. Quite literally, all I have is four different lures in my box. Got a couple of different flies, more nymphs than anything else, a few different dry flies that'll be coming out later in the season. But I just think earlier on in the season, it's just easier to play around with hard bodies or anything that's going to sink. So, a nymph in particular. What a beautiful, beautiful afternoon! Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode of Tazcast Fishing Adventures. How beautiful is this? Just 30, 40 minutes from Launceston and you're in this tranquil environment catching huge monster trout. If you learned something from this video, please feel free to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel because we have plenty more content coming up. Let's get fishing, baby. <laughs> oh, that's so much fun, man. The slow retrieve just always seems to get them. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just because it's early season, it's still pretty cold, but oh, they just love it. They just love it, and so do I. <laughs>